get this show started. Hey, how are you doing? I'm with my girls. No. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, girl? <laughs> I'm so great. How are you doing, girl? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Under the given circumstances of right. our self employment. Hey, girl. Talk about self employment. How is it going? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> tough. in your self-employment post. Yes, Yes, congratulations. The time when you have a flip. Why am I being declined of this funding and that funding? Hey. We are here to talk about self-employment, <laughs> the joys and the tears of it all. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, today's what? When is Tuesday? It's a Tuesday, yeah. It's a Tuesday afternoon and we drove here. Uh, talking about business and the challenges that we face as, as entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, there's pros and cons to it, of course. For me, I, I enjoy. Am, am I? Am I? Am I taking over, friend? <laughs> no, you go. You go ahead. It's just a generic talk. So okay, because we're just discussing about the pros and cons. Open Zoom about about business. Um, advantages are that you get to do whatever you want, as and when you want, whatever time. Like for my, like right now. Amanda Manning that still at work, you know, we are here having fun by the park, which is so great. But hey, how much challenges that come with it? <laughs> the other side that is not told. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on, friend. You you are doing the introduction <laughs> quite well. <laughs> so so guys, Mina, I'm a chef by profession. I run my own restaurant, right? It's all good and well. Oh, let me just give you a background. So I'm from a corporate background. I've been at Escom for many, many years. Uh, my career was thriving. I left my career at a pinnacle of my career. Well, right, I was happy. Like I was not complaining about anything, but I had I had um, a passion for business, and I've always loved the business. Um, however, nobody warned me. Would see the things I would I would experience a business scene. The challenges, guys. The challenges. The amount of hours put into the business. Money lost. Loss of friends. Sleepless nights. You name it. I have gone through it all. And a bag of chips. And a bag of chips, but hey. <laughs> but some of us people don't know our struggles. They think Uti Bonet, all they see is a beautiful glitz and glam of pictures we post on our social media pages, which is great, but there's a lot of work, there's a lot of stresses that go behind the scenes of running a, a business. Yeah. That is very true. Yes, I'll 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 talk about what I do. Mm -hmm. Um I mean Currently, mm -hmm. I am a content director of Matanda <laughs> Nursery mm -hmm. Right. I'm a producer of a profession. Mm -hmm. I love television work. Literally, I started from the from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here. Yeah. From being a coordinator up to now. Mm. I've got a few side gigs, which is fashion, um, youth camps, youth development, and uh, a few other things, as you might know. Right. But my main side hustle is to getting my company which is motev and ladyboy which is a fashion brand mm -hmm. going i remember this one time somebody asked me you do so many things but how do you do it mm. and i sat and thought to myself oh my god this is a mix of sleepless nights mm. a few phone calls mm. with a lot of declines when you're asking people for help or asking, you know agencies for 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 help mm. this is me having to force myself to learn things that i don't even know i don't like editing at all i've had to learn editing right. because there'll be times when i can't even afford to pay a full rate for an editor friend i had to pay for uh things like posters you know mm. things that are easy to do but i i felt that i don't have time mm. once a person sees that poster they think oh my goodness the biggest one i get a lot mm, what is it do you have a job for me <laughs> which is good in the spirit i see it as okay these people see that i'm doing something great and yeah. they feel like they can be part of my company right and in actual fact, they are showing me where I'm supposed to be, to be mm. in a position to be hiring talented Absolutely. and great people, right. which is where I'm going. Mm. However, just these steps getting there. Yeah. I remember one time I literally open cut my production company mm -hmm. and asked myself, 
what is my service True. what am i doing True. and remembering how great i am when i'm employed by another production company yeah. i had to think about myself like those companies and said when we get into any company there is a structure that mm. is put in place mm. there's a production team there is a production schedule everything is written down so that everyone who is employed has to follow those those um, protocols mm. and responsibilities and duties so that they fulfill the goal so that they execute the grand vision mm. imagine this you are on your own in your company and you need to be all these things right that is exactly what i was just discussing just now plunge no 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 who's also in business and he was just talking about um there's a difference between being self-employed and being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. when you're still self-employed yes yes you are actually employed to yourself yes you are the driver you are the whatever um you run the bills you run how the beautiful stuff. is that music Sorry, it's so man. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> when you're self-employed you are literally doing the work yourself you are you've employed yourself in the business and so the same amount of effort that you're going to put while you're working for umlungu are the same effort you're going to be putting in your own business um but however when you're an entrepreneur this is where you have put so many systems in place as i find like as opposed to you doing the physical work yourself for an example as a chef um while i'm self-employed as a chef which means i cook I go and I buy the ingredients, um, all, all the nitty gritty that come along with being a chef, I have to physically go and do that, as opposed to when I'm an entrepreneur, I'm um, a couple of levels above that. I have hired people to work for me, I'm running behind the scenes of the company. Sometimes you find you are, you are self-employed and almost towards the level of being an entrepreneur. It is also very tricky and, and stressful. Yeah. Because, um, for instance, for me. Um, I think that's exactly where I am currently. Yes, I've got enough main power to run my business. However, I'm in between. I'm still um, a chef slash running a business. Yeah. Why is that? Because I feel Uguti, I'm not in a level where I can afford someone of my skills. I, I feel like my skills are slightly expensive and I can't afford a chef who can do what I do. So I'd rather do it myself. That takes away from running my business in a, in a, holistic, um, a holistic view. I'm not able to do things I'm supposed to be doing behind the scenes because I'm I'm now a, an employee in my own company. Yeah, it's very tricky. I want you to look at me and think, oh no, you have arrived. You've just won an award. Uh, wow, how do you do it? But Abba has a good. Your place is gorgeous. Thank you, friend. But people don't know the amount of, of sweat and tears that have put be, that have been put into the business. There are so much um, challenges, so much uh, selflessness that goes into it. You lose yourself. You live for the business. People just have no idea. But just mm. like what you just said, you, you've, got, you've got people who are constantly asking you for, for employment. I have the same. Like my, 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 my Instagram, my, my Facebook is insane. The amount of inboxes I get from chefs who are just graduated. And I want to absorb everyone. But I can't because I can't afford them. Yeah. But they, they've got the skills that I need, but I can't afford them. And so I do the work myself. Yeah, and you have to in the beginning stages. Mm. You really have to. This is something I normally joke with at Ekai. I, I normally say, I need to clone myself. Mm. I need to clone myself and have people in my team that are as diligent as I am and right. passionate as I am mm. about content and telling stories mm -hmm. or even coming up with ideas. Yeah. There's a whole lot of administration that goes within a television production setup, sure. right? One morning, I remember one time I woke up, I had so much work of my own, of mm. motor. I wake up this morning and I'm caught up between exercising and starting my work for the day. Well, at least you exercise. You know, sometimes you even end up neglecting the, yourself, you know, because mm -hmm. you're busy focusing on, on the business. I can't tell you when last I went to the gym. I'm stuck practically eating right because there's no time. All you care for is making that money, says the chef. It's so, <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, people think that also if they, they, they eat well, well balanced meals, hey, you, you grab whatever you can find mm. on the go, you mix and you match and you put it in your mouth, and that is very dangerous because it also hampers your, your health, your health, and yeah. you need your body, you need yourself for your business, you need to sustain yourself for your business, and mm. oftentimes we neglect ourselves. 
So I guess when you are able to sort of like look after yourself. I had to force it, friend. You know, you if there's time. one thing I never do mm. start a day without, mm. it is to wish me a good day. Mm -hmm. It is to be grateful for a couple of things that I'm, I'm normally grateful about. Yeah. And exercise and meditation. Mm. Most of the time, if I go for a couple of days without these few things, yeah. I feel so disorientated mm -hmm. i'm out i'm out of tune i'm mm. so disaligned i'm mm -hmm. like oh my gosh what's the matter yeah this one time i drove somewhere i stopped i had to find a parking lot sure. I, I stopped i listened to meditation for 10 minutes mm -hmm. just so that i i come back sure there are those certain things that you need to actually sustain the body and the mental health yeah. of the person that is self-employed yeah. of the entrepreneur mm. that you are absolutely mm. Yo. We are new, our babes. We are new, our self-employment, our entrepreneurship. Oh, yeah, new one. My friend, what about this means you, you, you pay your, your staff and then you are left broke. <laughs> <laughs> you are you left broke, girl. Okay. I remember one time one of my friends who's in um, business once said, I think I'm complaining in mind. I've, I've just been doing so much, so mm. much. She said to me, Manu, just remember to pay you for... Oh, I was pay talking about me. everyone else that I needed to pay. <laughs> about uh, regarding the gig that I had done. Yeah. And... Oh! oh this is so cute. So beautiful. Oh. Mama duck and her ducks. Oh, Uncle Siam. This is so special. <laughs> And this person said to me, I hear you mm. counting everybody else. What about when you? When are you paying yourself? Yes, she gave me a, literally an ear biter by saying, whenever there is money coming in, the first person that you need to pay is, is yourself. yourself. And we take that for granted. Nyakumbula no mawam used to say this thing at all. When she said this, I sat down one time and I was like, can I afford to pay myself? But then I wanted to start at a rate that mm. I am in the industry, which mm. was impossible. Mm. Yeah, if in the industry I'm 40K and I have 23,000 that comes in and I have right. members of, uh, you know, I, I have four bodies to take care of. Mm. How am I paying myself 40K with How the 23K? <laughs> <laughs> so it's something that we take for granted we overwork ourselves we underpay ourselves fair enough it is your business you know that the money is yours anyway even if you have money to keep aside yeah you know that the money is yours but just that act mm. of giving yourself money that comes from your own business i think mm. has a huge impact yeah. on the fact that you are incredible you've been doing so much you are employed yeah. by yourself within this company no that is so true personally mm. I, mean, I feel like enjoy the money that i have paid myself in my business i mean is not even uncle siam shame yeah that, I'm, i mean i'm the most underpaid stuff ever <laughs> i couldn't believe that i'm telling you i'm Every the most underpaid this lady works so hard <laughs> so hard i can attest to this because i remember a period in her life when she started in this restaurant i wanted to be there all the, the time. time i remember you coming washing out dishes, dishes <laughs> cleaning up and down <laughs> Bengiti ma be ma benza anything bengiti. You really la la lang shen la. Bengani zicha la mshela. Yeah, just so true, friend. You know, and I I could tell the passion and the dedication that you have mm. towards your business. And as I say, I I wanted to clone myself. Bengiti fisa la banta banjal. I wish that you can hire people who are as driven as you are. Yeah. Oh gosh, this <laughs> family is just like overwhelming us. Oh, what's going on? That's going to get my. You can see the way he walks is like very macho. It must be our aura. <laughs> mm. So, in, in essence, I'm, I'm just excited that you are at a space now where you have hired somebody or some people. Right. And you are fine-tuning your business because mm. the hospitality industry mm. is also a tough one. It is very tough, so I won't even lie. 
Mm. It hasn't been easy. It has not been easy. But Maja, this is a funny thing. People only celebrate our victories without <gasps> knowing what Can we talk about the celebrations, yo? Braves, the amount <laughs> of friends I suddenly have after winning my award. Like, uh, the amount of friends I now have, now that I own a restaurant, where were they when I was still cooking in my mom's kitchen? Hey? Mm -hmm. Where were they, my friend, when I was still in my garage cooking and baking? Mm -hmm. No, no, to be found. But like, Haibo, you just get this entourage of, of people who suddenly mm -hmm. celebrate your achievement. They think you're the best thing since life's yeah. break. But when they were not there, we're not hating on anybody like we're that. We're not. But it's just like, it's very disheartening when you suddenly have these groupies who are all about, ooh, Ungo is our friend. Like, hey, we're so proud of you. But where have you been? Like, let's appreciate your manus in our lives because, hey, they're so hard to come around. People who are going to celebrate you, walk with you, hold your hand in the toughest of spaces, you know, and, and keep reminding you of how great you are in, in your most lowest moments. Because they are very hard to come by, friend. You oh, are just friend. one in a million, honestly. Thank Let's you so to come and cook with me. Eh, you guys are a vegetarian cooking, like chopping in yama. You know, I'm a vegetarian. Hey, madam, you've done things for me, Shem. I don't even know what to pick. You know, who's Shem? You have a thing about my in your life. You do. Otherwise, hmm. So let's just say then uh, that Uguba self employed or Uguba entrepreneur, the, the, the beginning stages of it is, is, not, is not a walk in the park, mm. you know. Um, one, two, you need to be mindful of the people that you have around mm. and, and pray that people that are around you are actually seeing your vision and, and wanting to help you genuinely mm. because some want to attach your, themselves with you right. based on either the name of your success yeah. or the name of whatever projects that you are working on uh, or the fact that you have now won an award and then they, suddenly they, everyone is part of me everybody knows my name i'm getting endless inboxes things that i mean i remember when i was campaigning for the nomination asking people to, to vote for me mm -hmm. i was like dead quiet nobody like kid but hey Mm -hmm. After winning, girl, like everyone is taking me. We're so proud of you. Suddenly, I've got friends that I didn't even know existed, girl. Yeah, yeah. How about that? What are the lessons then? What can we share as lessons for what we are going through? So, firstly, for me, I would say when you are in business, surround yourself with like minded folks. You need a matamafana now in business. You cannot operate in, 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 in isolation. We have a thing about who are gonna hold your hand and walk the journey with you because it's very lonely. It is not easy. It requires an, a great amount of uh, support. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. Call your friend. Like Manu, friend, what are you doing? Can you come over? I need help. Like I cannot do the. Call your friends. Let them know that you need help. Those who are there for you will, will show up. Mm -hmm. Okay. My advice. I am a. I'm an organized being. Hmm. My advice would be organize yourself, organize your thoughts, organize your, your visions, hmm. write things down. There's nothing as exciting, I'm talking from experience, mm -hmm. there's nothing as exciting as it's three, five years later hmm. and you look at your business journal and some yeah. of the things that you've written there have yeah, come, come to, to life. Mm. Girl, right? Mm. And we are fortunate in, in television production because most of the things that are being filmed are, are being well prepared mm. ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've adapted the same style to mm -hmm. my own life and my, my work mm -hmm. to say, what do I want to talk about? Right. Oh, okay. I'm going to talk to the interviewer, this casting director. I want to talk to the sound guy and this makeup artist mm -hmm. who are their names mm -hmm. i write them down yeah when can i shoot this i write it down and then i create an email that i'm sending to people to say are you available on this date i'd like to speak to you about this and this and this and that mm -hmm. mind you that is a person's job and responsibility if i wasn't alone i would have a coordinator or a, an office administrator mm -hmm. somebody an assistant of sorts mm -hmm. that i'll be just saying i want to know i want to linda i want to zanele i mm -hmm. want to pumza to come and do one two three four five and this person will go through it mm -hmm. but i need to be all those things before i am a producer before i am mm -hmm. a content director hey. before i am a filmmaker i need to be those things behind mm -hmm. the scenes yeah even worse 
when you are looking for funding there's a, a funding opportunity that i received last year mm. i was amazed at myself mm. i kept quiet i didn't tell nobody i was applying for funding sure i said to myself most of the time we kill our own dreams because we speak too soon and speak too much mm. about the things that we want to do mm. and we want approval from the wrong people on social media by saying hey i'm working on something great yeah. talk to you about it soon or show you very soon Please, friend. <laughs> oh, friend, this one looks like. It looks like a dog, this one. Like a para. Tatale para. Sorry about oh, no, that. Para, lo. I wish you can just. Oh, mm. maybe they think we're going to feed them because some people come and feed them. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, friend, is coming to your legs. Lessons learned. Um, things that we can share. Na banya banya. Anyway. Hey, you can never. And as in a team, you can never out outgrow learning. You can never know it all. You are always learning new things in business. You, like manager, I'm very big on surrounding myself with people who are in a similar space, because uh, I I learn a lot from those people. On my own, manager, I just I can never be able to. You yeah. know, mentorship is very important. Get yourself a coach. Get yourself a mentor. Oh yeah. Yeah, Definitely. but I think I'm a coach because it's hell difficult. Hey, uh, you guys are bro. I touch him. Menanje, thank God with my, my award, it came with mentorship and, 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 and coaching for, mm -hmm. for 11 months. I'm going to be going for those classes. I'm excited about it. It's like a, a compressed MBA. Yeah. So I'm going to be able to do your thing, do, like be able to just apply all the processes of how to run my business efficiently. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the, pro, about the, the program mm -hmm. and what it entails. Yeah, uh, we're just rumbling and going on about our struggles <laughs> as entrepreneurs slash self-employed people contractors mm. and so on uh, i hope that you can take whatever you can take from this video whatever you can learn from us and use it for yourself we just want to encourage those people that are on the starting phase that um just absolutely. believe that you can absolutely just believe that you can but you need to as we are saying you need to be so organized mm. so passionate you need to uh, pray and take care of your well-being because you don't want the same body mm. that you are going to wake up every morning uh, and and fill with day's activities of your of, of your job mm. but be weak mm. in spirit in mind and in in, in in a physical form so just take care of your body first you know that you come first right and uh, we assume they know that you come first what mm. comes first it is your mental well-being yeah. it is your spiritual life yeah. it is your physical mm. life so if you take care of those and then everything else i'm not saying everything else should fall into place but you stand a greater chance to be able to sustain yourself mm. because you are a a person who is who is strong mm. one way or the other your last word friends yeah as exactly what you've just said take care of yourself you only have one you take good care of yourself email is not worth you losing yourself and losing your life over at all i mean i've had so many health scares because i just think i overwork myself it's not worth it take time out um you need this like we are here taking time out from our busy lives because we need to just you know yeah come back and just center ourselves it's very very important so yes guys and you should take this advice from her even more because she almost killed herself a couple of times right the stress within her job sure. has manifested in her body and her body shutting down yeah literally yeah because she never takes time off the yeah. things that she's busy doing yeah don't feel guilty to take time out don't go to the movies do something do something it's very very important for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and watching this so far. We mm. love you for it. And we hope that we're going to have more to share with you as our businesses grow. Yeah. All Take right. care. And bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>